Well, good morning, and I hope you're uh, enjoying this walk together as much as I am. I know I am learning quite a bit, and I really value our, your different voices and uh, the different experiences and voices we're hearing from different parts of our human family, especially our African American brothers and sisters in Christ. And last August, feels like an eternity ago now, uh, but last August, Churchwide Assembly, I'm so thankful to be there in person, uh, the ELCA issued a declaration to, to people of African descent, an, an apology for, for slavery and racism and uh, our participation in these systemic systems that have hurt so many of our, again, of our human family, of our families in Christ. And it was uh, fascinating. Uh, the, uh, Pastor Lamont Wells is the one uh, accepting on behalf of the organization, and he gave a speech in response. And it was the most powerful moment of the whole assembly. It was a moment where you could hear a pin drop. I, I highly recommend it. The videos are, are out there. Um, just because of the, the passion, the experience, but more importantly, it was a voice, and, and Part of this is my own fault, and my own sinfulness, but it's a voice that I hadn't heard as often as a lot of the other voices I heard that, that week in Milwaukee. Other parts of the ELCA that I'm not as familiar with. I've since endeavored to uh, hear from more. Right? To hear what the experience of a African-American Lutheran uh, has been and is now. We need to hear those voices. And I commend to you today our resources, uh, the ELCA website. If you just search ELCA Racial Justice, um, there's a resource tab with plenty of resources, including this declaration that I'm talking about, but um, lots of other resources that are helpful to you, Bible studies, uh, um, you know, presentations, understanding and dismantling racism is a good resource that I've used before in exercises. Um, Bittered in. It, there's a lot of, of good material here. If you also search DLC Racial Justice, there's a whole page and what they're about and their mission. There's a blog. And it refers to other voices. People that we, in our own church, that for so long we haven't been listening to, or at least not listening to enough. I know I've been guilty of that. I try to repent of my participation unfair system. So yeah, I, I commend those resources to you today. And like I said, that video, try to find that one. That was, that was exquisite. Uh, you know, I think the ELCA, we the recently reaffirmed our fight against uh, racism. I think we posted about that. If you missed that, you can Google that one as well. And it's not because it's politically correct. It's not because it's in vogue right now. It's because it deeply matters to who we are as the church. This should be preached on Sunday. We're, we are one in God. Why, why would we not lift up part of our own? Why would we not care for our own, right? We, God is reflected in each and every one of us, in ourselves and in our brothers and sisters of Christ, loving waters, and all that you'll see in the church on earth and the world. We need to take care of human family. So I commend those to you. It's, it's a little heavier reading, uh, so you, you, you want to prepare some more time, I think, than what we've been talking about before, but it's very important. Uh, it's very important to it. And please, uh, if you have questions, uh, with, with any of the resources this week, if you have any questions, comments. Just, if you want to have a discussion with me, I'm here for you, however I can be. See you tomorrow.